channel so today um, while we're still on lockdown I have got a Poundland pound, ooh, get it right Poundland um, haul if that's what you call them um, so I've got some few items which I bought a couple of days before the lockdown and I thought as soon as we heard that we were going on lockdown I've run out to the shops got all my birthday cards for the rest of the year and nipped into Poundland and spent you know what, what I did I think everything I bought came to about 68 pound but I've got all my toiletries um some crisps and sweets and that for the grandchildren some little toys and that um and, and bits and pieces so and uh one of my projects which I'm going to do as well so I needed some photo frames so I'll show you them as well so let's get into it and um yeah, I'll show you what I've, what I've got. So I'm in my little craft room today because I do a lot of arts and crafts. Um, so it's, it's only a little room. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I've got to show you, which I got, were these, when I, when I went in there. Now, there wasn't in there um, like the week or two weeks prior. So they, they're fairly new. Um, and they're these bags. They are like a beach bag. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Look at them. So they, they come in, I've got two colours, got one for me and one for my daughter. So this is like a brownie colour, put that one there a minute. This is like a brownie colour here, um, and obviously the wicker top there, and then your brown faux leather straps. And then the grey one, let's put that behind me, and then I've got the grey, this is like a grey, it's a bit, yeah, I suppose it's grey, grey. Then the wicker, obviously, and then the faux leather grey trimming. Now, I think they're really, really good value for, I mean, for a pound. Seriously, come on, you can't get... They wouldn't do them in Primark for a pound or Matalan. Look at that. Nice big bags. I mean, you could have a little shopping bag. Look at that. I think they're, they're really good, really good. I mean, I, I bought these because we, we were obviously going on holiday in... Um, April, end of April, uh, which is obviously now, we, we, we would have been going away, and I bought these, obviously, to take with us, um, my, one for me, one for my daughter, as I say, I mean, look at them, they're absolutely brilliant, this is like, um, like a canvasy material, I suppose, um, and they are fully lined, which I just showed you, but I'm going to show you, see if I can show you close up, so you can pull your bottom bit out, completely fully lined, there's your lining, and inside you've got, the only thing you haven't got in there is like um, a zip pocket. There is a pocket here, as you can see. It's not huge, but it it, it probably, would, mm, probably wouldn't fit your phone in it long ways, I don't think. But, I mean, apart from that, look, you can't go wrong. You've got your little push button here to stick it together with your magnet bit. Look at that. And a little bit there, like a little plastic logo thing so brilliant i just thought they were such a good buy for a pound you just can't go wrong with them even if they didn't last you throughout the summer and you just well you know didn't use them much or you used them and then they broke and don't they throw it away for a quid blimey so i also bought in there these faux flowers now because i'm into arts and crafts and i do a lot of um uh, floral um, arrangements for friends and family um, and I've been doing that now for about a, a year now um, so when I go in the pound shop sometimes they do do nice floral arrangements not arrangements but like floral pieces but when I was in there I hadn't seen these before so these are like it actually says on the label that these are called an English rose um, but they're more like a peony than a rose but look how big they are they're well worth it well worth a pound the only thing i would say is i mean i i wanted to get what i could and i there was only a few in there so i picked up before i needed it. the only thing i would say is um that if you bought a bunch probably from the range I mean, you could probably get the bunch because I bought them in there for, well, for about six pound and the bunch will be bigger. So I've got four, which are four quid. 
so so weigh it up so they're probably not you know like you go oh for, for a quid well if you a quid for a, for a bunch like that then yeah but a pound each you can it probably works out about the same if you went to get the bunch in the range but um obviously i'm not going to the range so i was in there at the time at the pound then and, and um grabbed them so they're going to go into my uh remember when i showed you all the champagne glass uh vials i was making so once i get some more flowers they're going to be going in there so they was really good let's put them down there and then the other things so the next things i've oh they had these in there as well look at them how cute are they little mini mouse bags um so they were really nice you know like your um everyday shopping bags what you take out um and it just says on it oops i bought it so they're really good i think you like them cute goes down there um, now the other thing we were looking for was well, i've just bought a new phone and we were looking for the tempered glass protectors and to go over the top but unfortunately they don't do the iphones but they do if you are looking and you've got a samsung they do do the samsung ones um but they they did have iphone ones in there but not for the iphone i've particularly got um but i i bought it just to test it to see if it does go on the phone it does go on there but you'd have to um cut cut it down to size so as I say, they do do they do the iPhone six, I think, and the seven um, in there, but not not for the phone what I've got, uh, which is the XR. So, but they do do them in there. Um, now these, I don't know if anybody's bought these before. Or I've not had these before, so I can't comment to whether they're any good or not. But I actually bought the cooking liners to go on your trays, so I'm going to try them as well. Um, I think there's just one in a packet on these um and you can put it in it says you can put it in your oven for your grill when you microwave keep pans and trains clean uh cook without fats and you cut it to size hmm. and it says non-stick and it's reusable so i'm going to give them a go they're also in there um what i did get as well was i've got my little granddaughter um I put her hair in little plaits and that, and because she's only got fine hair, the the, the um, toggles what I normally use, they're not quite, they're, they're too big rather, they're not small enough to wrap around, so I saw these in there, the little tiny little elastic bands, can you see, so they've got them in white and black, um, and there's 150 in there, so they're nice and, I'll just take them out of the paper and have a quick look, so you can see, they're perfect, so if you're, you've got a child, who's got very thin hair, they're perfect to go around to make little plaits with. Brilliant. So I've got those. Um, I've got quite a few of these guys. I've got these for the throughout, throughout the garden for the kids. Um, the bubble ones. Um, yellow, green and orange. So you get three in the pack. So um, And they're good as well because we have used these and you can, you can do a refillable in them. So I've got those. these as well in the uh, garden section bit and I'm going to do an upscale on these so these I think I've not seen them in there before but they had these in there as well and on the front I don't know if you can see but on the front it says flowers and garden here um, they're made of tin they're quite tall and I've got two of those um, it's not really the colour I, I want so I'm probably going to do an upscale on that maybe spray paint uh, spray paint them see how they come out so I've got two of those and I don't know if you remember me telling you, but I, I um, was telling you about the champagne bucket, which I had and did the champagne bottle in it and I at Christmas and I put the feather boas around there. Well, I was trying to find my, the picture with a feather boa um, and I must have deleted it. So while I was in there, I happened to find another feather boa, but just wanted to show you, this is the feather boas, what they do in the pound shop. Um, and it does look a bit scraggly, I must admit, but when you put it round the bucket, um, and if I can quickly do um, a picture on it, I'll take a picture and I'll show you. And you just place it all round the round the bucket, uh, round the champagne, and actually it doesn't look too bad at all. It does look, as I say, it does look a bit scraggly, but it, the effect is there, so that was quite good. So that was that. And then if I go down here, now what I did buy actually, I know this is completely not part of. Um, 
the Poundland, but I wanted to show you which I got off of Amazon. So those, oh, sorry guys, those cooking knives, which are these, I actually got some off of Amazon as well. And these are quite big. Um, and these ones came, I think these were six pound, and they came, I think, at three. So, and you can cut them down as well. So I've already opened this because I wanted to try it at the weekend, but and then I obviously had these anyway. So I'm going to see if they if they work out the same, if they're any good. Now what I do get in there as well is I get I buy these little mirrors, and they just go on. On the stand up, you can't see it from there because I've got the camera too low. But anyway, so you stand it up like that on your shelf or whatever. But what I, I do a lot of crafts is with mirrors as well. So I do some mirror art and these are perfect. So if you're doing any crafts or anything like that, just go in there. The only thing is I've got so many of these frames now. So when you take them off, obviously you tiny little screws here, just unscrew them. Take it out, it's easy. But you're left with these frames and I've probably got maybe, I reckon, 80 of these frames now um i have done a couple of diys with them because i don't like throwing things away so i like to reuse them um so i'm struggling now to think of what else i can i can do with these frames because this bit here doesn't come off so if this bit came off i could then use the actual square but obviously i can't so um so i picked up another couple of those uh, purely because i want the mirrors and i reckon they're probably i haven't actually measured them actually and i I don't know if I've got tape machine there, but they're probably something like five by seven, something like that, I reckon. Um, so I picked up a couple of them to add to my collection while I was in there. Um, now, I also picked up for the kids as well, little, this, I think, is supposed to be like the baby shark um, picture. And you get a couple of balls in there. So um, the kiddies in the garden, um, you know, when the, when the weather's nice, keep them going a little bit. Um, obviously, I'm not telling you all to go out and start going to the ground shop and stuff, but when the lockdown finishes, if you can get in there, um, hopefully they'll be left in there for you. Good for the kids as well. And for my granddaughter, my granddaughter, actually, I'm going to move this I'm going to move my hand this way because I'm leaning down over there. So, um... My, my little granddaughter loves to wear plasters. Every time um, she comes around, she says, oh, Nanny, I've hurt my hand or I've hurt my knee or something. Oh, I've hurt my hair. Can I have a plaster? So I have to buy her a different coloured um, themed characters or whatever. And um, I, I found these in there because she likes unicorns. So look at them. Look how cute they are. Little unicorn plasters. Um, I haven't opened them yet, but it looks like you get pink and yellow ones and it's and it says they're waterproof as well so they're really cute 75 in there um so i bought because obviously i can't go to the hairdressers or anything other if you can see my hair so i'm going so gray um and now i always buy in there my cut colors for my hair if i can't get to my friends who does my hair for me and i always buy because i'm dark um but I do buy the natural brown one, which is number 39. And this is the um, Schwarzkopf Poly Colour Permanent Cream Colour Tint. Um, it says 100% uh, grey coverage on there, so you can see them. But these are not a pound, these are two pound. And I've, I've got to be honest with you, I, I probably put one of these on, um, if I can't get to my friends, maybe every three to four weeks. So not bad value at all for those. Um, and you've obviously got the, you get a pair of gloves in there, you've got the actual tint um, and you mix it obviously together in there. So anyone who hasn't done this before, I'll, I'll do a video on that and I'll, um, I'm will i going to do this in a couple of days time and I'll show you how I do it. You know, it's not professional obviously, but it will just give you an idea on how I do, how I do mine and how it works out. Um, now I bought this. I've never bought perfume in a pound shop before, but they had a tester on this. Now, I'm not going to spray this on myself because um, I do suffer with eczema, so my skin is quite sensitive. But I, there was a tester on the side, and I thought, hmm, I was thinking about doing it for a room spray. When I smelt it, it smelt really, really nice. So I bought this just to go in my bathroom. You know that sometimes when you have the, uh, uh, what are they called? 
the air freshener ones and they're okay but but they smell of air freshener if you know what i mean they, you know um and this i thought right let's try this and this one is called rose sensuous rose and it's a 100 ml bottle uh 3.3 fluid ounces um and it the, the, honestly the smell in it was really really nice so i'm going to put this in my in my bathrooms um just to give it or, or room spray i mean i wouldn't some people spray things on their pillows i wouldn't really recommend that but to put it in the room spray i think is is brilliant so i'm gonna do use that one so that's good i also found in there as well which i haven't seen in there before because like all their gardening stuff is coming out is the citronella the citronella candles what you have on your tables like for in the garden when you're doing your barbecues come with a cute little stand as well um in natural insect repellent now i know because i've bought these before and i've paid something like five pound for like one probably just double that so for a quid on the little stand that's perfect stand on your table in the garden so i thought that was really good um now what i do get in there as well guys is i use their dove products like the dove soap and that and i i got the the original blue which the soap's obviously not blue um but the blue the dark blue uh, logos on there so i buy these dove soaps because i i like dove soap and, it, and it's very they're very creamy i've also bought the pink ones i think they're called they might be called rose actually they actually don't lava up as well as the blue ones believe it or not i don't know why but they don't these really do a good lava but the actual um pink ones don't lava up as much as the blue ones so i've gone from the pink back down to the blue again because these are really not and they smell lovely really nice um, i also buy their this is nice as well the nivea shower gel now this is the rose um and that smells lovely as well so i buy those in there and that's a 250 ml it's really nice um now this is what i wanted to mention as well so i buy food waste bags you know the green ones where you put your compost for your potato peas and stuff like that so i got these but they're actually not that great um i kept this packet to show you but i have used them out of here before 20 food bags so you can see on there yeah um and i also bought some out of aldi uh, roughly for the same price and i prefer the aldi ones i know it's a funny thing to compare but um hang on a minute let's see now the last packet ah oh, now that was easier now the last packet i bought out of um the poundland which was ages ages and ages ago i couldn't even open the bag like that they was every one of the bags was stuck together um so i ended up just putting them actually in the compost bin because phew, i couldn't use them um but i've just opened this one and obviously you can see that i can open them so that's good and i do i use these all the time because i do not put food in my bins i find if you put food in your bins which a lot of people do and i used to do it your bin smell so i literally have my brown compost bin by my back door when i'm cooking any waste food peelings anything i put them in there and i take them straight outside i've now cut my waste of my black bins by half because i also recycle i very rarely have a black bin to go outside of just you know your general waste um so that's really good um oh i've got a couple more things to show you just quickly and another little thing i bought for my granddaughter because she's into brushing hair they're these cute little hair brushes i've not seen in them before uh what they called a lull i don't know what that is um so yeah so that will go in a little handbags because she walks around with little handbags so I've got one of those, so she'll like that. She'll probably brush her baby's hair, her dollies with her. Now this, I've got to tell you about this because I've used this and this, I always get it in there. So this is for cold sores. Now I really suffer with cold sores. I get them probably every two to three months. And the Zavirax, if, you all, if you've all bought Zavirax before, it, for the same size of tube, and this is a two gram tube, and I'll get it out. Um, Zavirax, I think, is what, five or something like that. So there's the tube, and obviously, this is in the Poundland. 
um, and this has got the same ingredients in it as Zavirax and it does exactly the same job. Um, so I must tell you about that. So if you see it in the pound shop and you suffer or you know anyone who suffers with coleslaw, they are just as good as the Virax. So I don't even buy those other tubes anymore. I literally get them out, but um, they're not always in there because the last couple of times I couldn't get it. But when I obviously I was in there um, a few weeks ago, I grabbed them quickly. I grabbed a couple of boxes, but I, so I just wanted to share that with you for anyone who gets coleslaw, brilliant. So that's a good review on that one, like that. Um, and yeah, that's practically in, guys, actually. Um, what I'm gonna quickly show you, which I'm, you can hear me rattling around in, I bought a big mirror from um, BM, again, ages ago, I haven't started the project yet. And I wanna do, I don't just wanna do, uh, put it up on the wall, I'm going to, I know it sounds funny, but I bought these in the pound shop, you know those, what you hang on the wall, you hang your hanging baskets on. So basically, the mirror is as wide as that. I wanted a long, thin mirror, and this here is practically as wide as the mirror, right? So my idea is I'm going to spray these. I'm going to stick them together and put them down the mirror like that, so it looks like a raw iron effect on the mirror. Um, so these, these are my little projects coming up, and I will do the actual DIY project and video it so you can see how, how it turns out. So um, hopefully that will come out good. Um, I'm doing a mirror one at the minute, um, which when I was uh, thinking about putting some wall art on my walls, I was trying to think of what I can do. Um, and I'm doing a one at the moment and I'm actually using, which I've got here, just photo frames. Um, they're very flimsy, so you have to be very careful with them if you can do a project with the photo frames at the pound land. Um, but for silver frames, what I'm looking for, these, these are perfect. So when I've done this wall art with these, um, I'm, which I'm in the middle of doing it now, I'll do a video on that one as well for you so you can have a look. So yeah, guys, there you go. That's me done for today. Um, hope you're all staying well. Uh, have a good day and um, I'll catch up with you later on. Bye.